Hello guys, uh, welcome back. I'm, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to get Square Dead Zone on Rocket League using Epic Games. When you have Let's get right into this. So first you're going to go to Steam. We're going to add Epic Games as a non-Steam game. So in this, you're going to find Epic Games Launcher, which you can search it. But you can go Epic Games Launcher and add selected programs. And so once you do that, it should show up in here. Open the settings tab on this manage uh instead of using default settings we're going to do enable steam input and then we'll close out of this i want to go to big picture mode which i think it is view and then big picture mode right here all right so now that we're in here go to menu library and then there's gonna be tabs up here and you're gonna find epic games launcher in this and we're gonna click the little controller tab here Okay, so once we're in the Epic Games controller, launcher controller settings, we're going to go down to the joysticks tab, which will be the fourth one here. And then we're going to go over to the left joystick behavior, and we're going to click on the little setting here. And then we'll go down to dead zones, and then we're going to change the dead zone type to custom. And then we can change the dead zone shape right here to square. And um, I don't... You can set it up however you want. I don't know how to set it up. There's probably information somewhere. We're going to back out of this. Now you should build it. You want to launch Epic Games with Steam when you want to use your Square Dead Zone. So here we've got, yeah, we've got, we've got Epic Games. We launch Rocket League. Here we go. We're in Rocket League. Oh, wrong place here. And I'm just going to go into training and show you that I do have a Square Shaped Dead Zone. You can see, you can see my controller overlay, that it's doing a uh, square pattern instead of a circle. If you're watching this on TikTok, if you want to drop me a follow, that'd be awesome. If you are watching this on YouTube, you should definitely subscribe.